Okay, done up the HPP now. <coughs> I'm going to create a new file. New. Okay, done up the HPP now. <coughs> I'm going to create a new file, new item, and this is going to be our entry point to the program. So winmain.cpp. Uh, the first thing, obviously, we want to do. Let's give it a name. Is include app.hpp that's where the function prototypes are for the functions that we were going we were going to implement now okay so if you remember the first one was the wnd proc the, me the internal message loop say how we're going to handle events from the window and uh, here we go <coughs> remember this this is the message um, Basically, Windows will send us this message, and then we've got to deal with it some, in some way. Uh, and, and generally, we determine what the message is, and then um, perform actions. And we do that through a, uh, a switch statement. Uh, I'll show you that. This is it. I'm going to switch on the U message. Case WM close. We're going to post a quit message back to Windows to basically say the user's clicked the X button. So we're going to close our program basically close the window finish the program uh, I'll, I'll add more to this uh, switch statement as the tutorials go by but for right now that, that's all that we really want um, and then for any messages that we didn't handle we've got to post them back into the loop basically uh, so some other program or, or windows itself can handle them and uh, that's done with a call to this Basically, we just pass uh, we just pass all the parameters back, you know, HW, ND, HW, handle to window, handle, you know, the, those uh, arguments all match. So you just if we don't deal with it, we post it back to Windows, basically. And that's as simple as, as that function is. <laughs> uh, the next function, if you remember, was the entry point to the program. Um, this function's massive. I apologise, but this is the way it is when you start programming some hardcore stuff like this. The first thing we do is create a class or fill out a class structure for our window uh, and this is the code to do that. Um, it's just a structure called WND class X and we fill it with a variety of information which I won't go into because uh, I say again you know I'm into graphics programming, not Windows programming. If you want to know what it is, just Google it. There's loads of information on it. If you want to know what each one of these does. Um, the main thing to note, I suppose, is that uh, the instance that Windows has given us, we're just going to assign it to the instance of the class, just to make sure that everything is, is, uh, is hooked up. You know. And the next thing we want to do is create fill in a, a rect structure, a rectangle which is going to d uh, define the dimensions of the window essentially. And if you remember that in our app.hpp file we did a couple of definitions for window width and window height um, and, and this is where we're going to use them, or one of the places where we're going to use them. Um, so obviously the window's going to top left, zero, zero, bottom right is the equivalent window width and win window height. The next thing we're going to do is register our class to Windows. Essentially, say that you know we we have got we've got a window class and we'd like Windows to take notice of it. And, and the way we do that is we call register class X and pass in the address of the uh, window uh, WND class X uh, struct that we've just filled in. Uh, if that fails, it will return null or false. Uh, we can detect that with an if, and then use our error macro to just say error and could not register the class. Just the class. <laughs> there we go. Uh, and then obviously return that back to Windows and end the program because you know it failed. Uh, the next thing we want to do, I'll just bring it up here. 
is adjust the window rectangle. So basically I've put a note here, calculates the required size of the window rectangle based on the desired size of the client rectangle. So basically we redef redefine this rectangle up here, um, find this structure up here and then we're just going to fit our window according to the rectangle, you know, according to that re rectangle. So simple as that. If you want to know what any of these parameters mean, just look it up again. This is this is GUI programming. Alright. Okay, the next thing I suppose is um, this is the crux of it all. This is what we're here to do. Uh, create a window. Uh, I'll just give me one second. This is the code to do that. Create the window. <coughs> uh, it returns a handle to the window, so it, it returns basically a, a representation of the window. You know, if you've done any file handling or you know, anything like that, you always, you always work with handles to files. This is kind of the same thing. Um, and the function uh, that we use is called create window ex, and that's made available to us by Windows.h. And we included it in our app.hpp file. Uh, we pass in the name of the class here. Um, which we defined in our. There we go. It's right there. And point to class name. Uh, notice here that I'm using the L here. Uh, I'll show you in a second why. If I go to properties here. load up. Um, basically I'm using the multi-byte character set. Actually I probably want to be using the Unicode character set if I'm doing that. Uh, if you uh, are using a different IDE compiler you might not need to do this. Um, but you know if it doesn't work go to properties and change this it'll probably work. Yeah, so that's why I put the L there, just to signal that I'm using the Unicode character set. Um, <coughs> uh, yeah, here we go. create window ex, uh, give the title of the window. And basically all of this, uh, I'm not going to explain into it uh, in detail, you, you should look it up yourself because we're getting GUI programming, but yeah, this creates, this basically creates the window and returns a handle to it. Um, and obviously we link it with the instance again, so we'll, we we link the class uh, with the uh, H instance and with the window. Unless we can do a bit of protection here, if it, it, if this happens to fail for some reason, uh, then the H window will, will be null. Um, I return null on failure. This one, I presume. Uh, we want to destroy anything to do with the window. Uh, we'll unregister the class benders and H instance, and then we'll call our error macro saying Windows couldn't create return uh, not to Windows, and end the program. Assuming it worked, then we need to call a new set of functions provided by Windows.h. We're going to show the window. We're going to display it. Use a handle to window to tell it which win tell Windows which window we want to display. Um, uh, we'll, we'll update the window. We'll refresh it. You know. Um, then we'll, we'll bring it to the front. If you've got several windows open, we want it to be the top window on display. And then we'll set the focus uh, of the window uh, so that, yeah we have the focus on, on that window, not any on any other window. 